So now that we're done with that quiz, let's go to a more general case. Like like we have velocity and acceleration. Mm-hmm. Ganina kasi, we don't um uh we ignored accelerations there in our analysis. Puro velocities lang. Kasi dun muna tayo nag-focus. Now, paano pag may acceleration? Sabi ko nga kanina, acceleration is on the concavity or the uh, curvature of your of your plot. So in that case, halimbawa. So sa velocity saman, so the slope will give you the velocity. So for example, a positive velocity gives us what? Ano yung, ano yung itsura ng, ng position time graph pag positive ang velocity? Ano siya dapat? Ano siya? Dapat? Positive slope. So parang pag ganito. Tama? If you've seen something like this, this gives us an idea that the velocity is positive. Okay? Then, paano pag negative? What about negative? Obviously, it should be just the opposite of your positive slope, which is negative slope. Okay? Now, what about zero? Ayan, sinasabi ko na kanina yan. Pag velocity is zero, it should be a flat line, a horizontal line. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba rito? May tanong? Answer. Okay, so I believe the slopes are, or the velocity is clear. What about acceleration? What about the curvature part? So, pag positive acceleration, the curvature must be upward. Looks like this. So, pag ganyan. Pag ganyan siya. Okay? What about acceleration is less than zero? Ano dapat mangyari? Siyempre, opposite dapat ng pag ganyan, which is pag ganyan. Less than. Curving downward. So. Okay? Concave downward. This is concave upward. This is concave downward. Concave upward. Concave downward. Okay. And then finally, we have none. Paano pag wala? Pag wala acceleration. Ano yung, may dalawa actually in case. The first one is obvious. Like for example, this in these previous cases, may acceleration ba rito? Sa mga velocities na to? Like this one, this one. And of course, this one. May acceleration ba dyan? May mga acceleration ba na makukuha ka dyan? Answer. None. Exactly. Why? Because the slope here is constant. Therefore, if the slope is constant, there should be no acceleration because the velocity is constant at all parts of the graph. So, yon. So, in that case, ang mangyayari ay ganyan. You have a straight line here, or what is this case here? Ano yan? Kung napansin mo rito, oh, you have um, a curving, uh, a concave downward, then it becomes concave upward. So in, in a way, parang nagbago yung um, yung acceleration mo as it pa, as as the particle passes through in in this uh, in this trajectory, parang ganon. So in that case, ang tawag dito ay inflection point. At an inflection point, the acceleration vanishes. Okay? At an inflection point, the acceleration vanishes. Okay? So, please check kung inflection point yan or um, just a line. If this a line, therefore, we see that the acceleration is zero in that particular case. So, questions? May tanong ba rito? Are there any questions for this, for this particular um, point? May tanong? May tanong ba? Wala? Okay, wala naman. Okay. Let's go to So, let's have an, the the previous example kanina na di natin na analyze. So, analyze natin to. Okay. So, what can we say about the velocities for the position time graph? So, for example, here, if we determine the slopes like yan, ayan, 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 and ayan, what can we say about the velocities at each point? At A, B, C, D, and D. Yeah. Ano masasabi natin? What can you say? So, at point A, anong, ano to? Ano yung point A? This is positive. Um, and so, ay, yun. So, positive to. Positive, positive slope. And then, zero yung slope sa C. And then, at D, negative yung slope. And then, at E, negative yung slope again. Pero, mas less steep na. So, nagiging steep siya, tapos nawala bigla sa C, tapos naging steep ulit sa D, nawala yung steepness sa E. So in that case, what can you say about the velocities here? Velocity is, this is 
positive. This is positive but greater in magnitude than A. This is zero. This is negative. And negative na malaki ang magnitude, pero this is also negative. Okay? Clear ba tayo doon? Clear ba tayo doon? Malinaw to? Yes. Okay. Now, so what about the acceleration? The acceleration gives us the curvature. So for example, here in point A, in point A, curve upward. It's concave upward. Therefore, we expect that it's upward curvature and therefore the acceleration is what? Positive, negative, or zero? Dapat? Positive. Positive. Tama. What about B? Why is it zero curvature? Bakit zero curvature to? Why is a zero curvature? Bakit? Kasi? Yes, it's correct. Inflection point kasi yan. From positive, bigang um, nag-downward yung curvature mo at point C. So this means that the acceleration here is um, equal to zero. Okay? And then at point C, pakurbang pababa na, we have A less than zero. Now, nakapansin nyo na kanina, may mga nagkakamali dito, especially sa context ng free fall. Ang velocity ay zero, pero ang acceleration ay negative pa. Okay? Ang velocity, zero. Acceleration, negative. Because even though that the velocity vanishes, the acceleration can still remain. Huwag kakalimutan yan, ha? May mga nalilit pa rin dyan. Kahit zero yung velocity mo, kung acceleration mo yung negative, okay lang yan. It happens. Okay? Now, for point D, zero ulit because there's uh, another inflection point here. And for letter E, since the curvature is upward, we expect that the acceleration is positive. So this is uh, A equals zero. Okay? Questions? Questions? May tanong? So in summary, we can plot, uh, we can summarize our results from the previous two slides and say that at point A, the acceleration and the velocity are both positive. Therefore, we expect that the particle speeds up in this region. At point B, um, there is zero curvature, so the velocity is positive. Hence, what will happen to the particle is that it will not speed up, but it will remain. It's it, its velocity will be remain um, to be in that uh, in that quantity. So uniform na lang yung pag increase ng displacement niya. And then after that, at point C, zero na yung speed, pero negative na yung since neg negative na yung acceleration. So what happened there is that the acceleration impeded the rise of the velocity, and then until it took, so parang bumagal na yung bumagal na yung object until it uh, until it stops so at point C. Kaya huminto siya. So bumilis. Uh, bumilis, naging uniform speed, bumagal ngayon yung particle. Until such time na it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it stops. So, so uh, naging at rest ulit siya. Then after that, at point B, negative na yung speed, zero yung acceleration. Therefore, what happened is the particle return. Kaya ang nangyari, bumalik ngayon yung particle. It returned to its original position and uh, with uniform velocity. So ibig sabihin, hindi nagbabago yung velocity hindi siya nag-accelerate. And then finally, at letter E, negative velocity, but positive acceleration. In that case, bumagal ulit yung particle, but it's now moving in the opposite um, in the opposite direction. So, ganon. Okay? So, questions in this particular analysis. So, a more physical idea, it looks like this. It starts at V greater than zero. Bumilis siya until such time na nawala ng velocity, ay, sorry, nawala ng acceleration and now the particle just moves uniform in velocity, and then bumalik yung particle at point C, and then uh, nawala ng acceleration, so bumalik pa rin yung particle at point D, tapos uh, ano na lang siya, tawag dito, uniform na lang yung velocity niya, and then at point E, uh, yung acceleration, pinabagal niya ulit yung velocity until maybe it uh, at rest after some time. So ganun din yung itsura niya when we go to the analysis. So, so the point here is ganito. We have predicted the motion of the object just based on the graph. Yun yung magic ng, ng graphical analysis. We can do that. By just using a, this graph, determining the slopes, determining the curvatures, we can determine the motion of, of a particle. Question. So, may tanong ba rito? May tanong? Wala? Wala na mong tanong? Wala. May questions ba? Uh, 